All right, let's go ahead and learn about the age function. So if I describe our table called person, you can see that we have first name, last name, gender, email, date of birth and country of birth. So let's go ahead and perform a select and then first name, last name, gender, country of birth, and finally date of birth. And then from person, if I press enter, well actually country or county, so it's not county, it's country, and then of birth. And if I press enter, you can see that we have our table with a bunch of people, including first name, last name, gender, country of birth, and date of birth. So now let's go ahead and have an additional column with their actual age. So if I press Q, we can go ahead and run the same command. And I'm going to press Control L to clear the screen. And we can use this function called age. So age. And then the age takes two arguments. So the very first argument is the actual current timestamp. So or i.e. Or i.e. the starting date that you want to calculate the age. And then the second one is the actual date or date of birth in our case. So let's go ahead and pass date and then of birth. And then if I say as and then age and then press enter. And you can see that now we have an extra column with the actual age. And you can see that it even includes the actual month, days, and also the actual timestamp. And obviously you could go ahead and extract whatever field from this age right here, but I'll leave that up to you. But this is all for now. If you have any questions on how to use the age function, Go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.